Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. Very happy to be here for show number, what is it today? 3,186, incredible. Hope you're all having a nice one. We continue our Tiny Rogues play today, uh, Cinder 16 on uh, all characters. We're about halfway done with this challenge. You can do exclam all 16 to get to the spreadsheet with all the information. I'm going to pick a character here in a moment, but first let's get all caught up with the people here in chat and your wonderful support. What's up, Armetheus? Kurt Soon. Hey there, Trips Captain. What's up, Real Out Tharson? Sunny Honey, Great Rain. Good to see you, John Joviak, Sitterski, and all the rest. Yo, Kurt Soon, thanks for 100 months. Enjoy that continued lurk. Did we get you add that 100 club right now? Thanks for that amazing triple digit support. All right, I want to do a second character page here. I'm going to go for Druid, which is a pretty nice character for our opening run today. Summon and level up spirit animal companions at Druid Shrines. Got Ivy Scroll and Druid Coat. I believe on our last run for uh, Druid, we actually ended up uh, using the Ivy Scroll for the whole game. No, I don't think we're going to do that here. It just happened that time. Okay, so we got... Crappy Ivy Scroll. Does Nettles. Very far range. That's nice. We got uh, Druid Coat. 30% increased nature damage. Okay. Hey there, Business Goose Gaming. Sarissian, thanks for 87 months as well. Cheers. We're doing it. Oh, that's right. This one leaves like a pillar of Ivy, which is really strong. Looks like we're an int build. Let's go for it. Alright, we gotta go for the druid shrine. A bit would be nice, but summoning an animal is what this is about. Alright, summon a new spirit companion. Okay, spirit wolves. Increased damage per companion. Plus 20 equip load. Plus 10% movement speed. I think I'm going to take the uh, wolves for right now. To my understanding, you basically want to summon one of each and then level one up. But having companions is pretty strong. Uh. Let's go ahead and take this for the XP. Our first level up should be pretty major. You host Amy74. Thanks for 80 months. Much appreciation. Thank you. Butcher, Cleaver, Primary Attack Deals, Slashing Damage, and Inflicts Bleed, Strength Scaling. Well, let's equip that, because I got a boss. Inflicting Bleed is not um, an insignificant thing. So I think pretty likely the Ivy is the, the game winner here. Yeah, we're not going to need the Butcher Cleaver. We're just going to sell that bad boy. Oh, snap. Triple Damage Bleed is a lot. Wow, that was awesome. Thief in the shadow. All right, traffic cone's interesting. Magic weapon, speed increase, also pretty good. Uh, I think I'll take the traffic cone, because this gives us a good chance to build up a uh, health resource. All right, let's go ahead and go here. Okay, automaton in the house, indeed. Cheesy rice, dude. It's a tough one. Makes all weapons drain mana? I mean, okay, for, for now, sure. Oh, it's hard to imagine an uncommon weapon being better than this. Yeah, traffic cones just plus one evade, that's right. Nice. Yo, Zinc's really good here. Okay, Druid Shrine again. Okay, let's do Eagle here. Let's 
Getting some really nice sellable resources. That's nice. Hey. Ooh, arcade. Let's see what drops here, huh? Cheese. It's good, good resources, but not exactly what we want here. One more. Okay, we're gonna bomb it then. Really nice dice pickup. What's this? Disintegration Scepter. Pretty good. This weapon is considered a channeling weapon. Okay. Um, I think we're going to check out the set item here. Get him, got him good. Okay, 100% increased damage over time while having more inflicted more than one distinct damage over time effect in the past four seconds. You know, this talisman's nice. Allows us to take curses, but then... I don't know. None of these look super awesome. I'm going to take the gas mask, and maybe we'll use it. Let's go ahead and upgrade this uh, IV scroll. I have to get one more damage over time. If you get like the bleed causes poison, that'd be easy enough to activate. Ooh, soul heart or piece of candy. Let's take the piece of candy here. I mean, uh, honestly, Arcane Familiar, I think. Let's go for it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, this is the other piece to the uh, set. We're using the Butcher's Apron and Butcher's Cleaver. So this does triple bleed damage, and this increases uh, bleed damage. If we were a strength build, that would be maybe one of the better... Uh, melee options. Okay, let's summon the bear here. Don't really want booze here. There we go. Okay, pawn shop sounds good. We got quite a bit of stuff to sell here. Um, 
Okay, this is out of here. This is out of here for sure. You know, I'm gonna drop the gas mask and Butcher's Apron as well. The gas mask has potential to be really good, but right now, inventory space would be nice. We got a decent amount for a tavern, but consumable here. I think the best place to spend money early on is simply on blacksmiths, upgrading whatever weapon you're using. And, uh, well, a tavern can be good. We don't need it right now. Nice. Or soul heart. Uh, let's go ahead. Hmm. This is basically the best spot to use a key. Offhand sounds awesome. A lot of very powerful offhands. Uh, there's no upside at all grabbing for you. That's one of the Cinder difficulty modifiers. Charges block each time you enter a room. All right. Stamina. 20% increased primary attack damage. I mean, that's really good. Let's just take the 20% damage here. All right, we're already plus one, so we might as well go in on good here. Plus three int, range damage, attack speed. Let's take the Azure Charm and the Tiger Charm. Tiger Charm's a little expensive here, but I'd like to get to three out of four. This way we can finish our enlightenment inside of a, a tavern if we need to. Pretty hard to turn down a Borger. Yeah, double stat, I'm gonna take it. Okay, it sounds good. Okay, there's our evade. We got hit too, that's unfortunate, but fair. Uh, rare weapons. I'll look at rare weapons here. Twilight Branch, okay. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and enchant this scroll. Chilling, that's an amazing modifier. You know, that makes it way less likely we're going to want to replace the weapon. I think Chilling is one of my favorite modifiers, simply because it uh, it slows enemies down. It is incredible. Permanent armor, yes. I did walk into that, that's fair. I walked into that too, dang. That's tough. No key for this seller either. Oh, piece of candy. There we go. Your nature damage inflicts bleed in a stack of puncture. That's it. That pretty much locks us into keeping the scroll, which is kind of what happened to us last time. It's already plus two, so we could max this out or get a key here. Let's go ahead and max out our weapon. Pretty sick, really. Eh... I think now that the nature damage inflicts bleed, there's really not much sense to the Butcher Cleaver being tossed out. Other than it could hit multiple enemies, which is a bonus.
Okay, damage per companion. Equip load capacity. Movement speed. Let's just take the damage here. Okay, I have a purging stone right now. I'm a little tempted to use it on this gold. We'll probably get a better purging stone, though, honestly. Let's use our red dice here. Alright, key sounds awesome. Stuff's getting shredded right now. Okay, we don't have gloves right now. Let's do it. Yo, Baxaron, thank you so much for 21 months. Same E74. Thanks for 80 as well. Sorry for missing that earlier. Chill also increases critical hit damage by 75%. We have a chilling scroll right now, so what a perfect synergy that is. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, need a little help? What's with that? I think that was just a leftover uh, text box from the starting room. Had to be. Roll it. Ooh, rolled into a druid shrine. Let's go. I might go Spirit Eagle here, a little more movement speed. Movement speed is a very nice stat. Plus one armor, plus ma two mana. Uh, that's actually definitely worth here. This is 30% nature damage, but we get damage percent off of mana stars, so that's uh, definitely nice. I'm going to take a strength here just to level up. Maybe we'll get bleed can stack up to 10 times on this run. Yo, look at that. You can stack Burn and Bleed up to 10 stacks, but Burn and Bleed deal 50% less damage. Doesn't matter. Oh, man. Cold-Blooded, too? Um... I actually think Cold Blood is more worth it here, because then we're at 42% crit chance and rising with bonus crit damage. That seems pretty sick. Great for bosses, anyways. I'm gonna take the key here. I think both the choices are really good. Uh, the bleed might have actually been better for bosses because we can stack up a higher uh, bleed, but most things are dying fast enough that we'd never reach the 10 stacks, in my opinion. Yo, it's a deal to Sevra. Thanks for 76 months. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. Thanks for all your support through the years. Man, chocolate or consumables? Consumables are just, like, so good in this game. Oh, 
Okay, so those are kind of dead. That was not not the best. Uh, companion summons would work. We don't have a companion yet. If we can get more, it makes the, the wolves give us more bonus damage. Would be nice. You know things are going well when uh, you're killing the automatons in the first eight seconds of combat, so that means the suppression is not really working for him. Yeah, it's a great one, Arc Mage Thrawn. Great soundtrack, indeed. T-Bone Steak, Melee Critical, Zombie Arm, Hear It on a Stick. We're going to take the Zombie Arm here, because this will give us two more companions, which gives us uh, bonus damage from the wolves. We'll check out our goody boy points here. What do we got? Magic find. Increase damage based on how good you are. This has to be the one. Even though it costs all of our souls, it is the... Finishes our alignment being plus four, and then we gain 40% damage on the top. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I am definitely worth willing to use the uh, purging stone on getting dice here big time Yeah, I think we go for the increased damage per companion, now that we have all these companions. I'm gonna take the key here. Ooh, piece of candy. Pawn shop's like, okay right now. A little better with that. I'm gonna drop the druid suit. Ike. We're gonna drop the butcher cleaver as well. And you as well, Boxer Drock. Hope you're having a good one, dude. Oh, let's check out a store with 51 here. Rubber duck and toad place roll? Oh man. Fortunately, does not have the synergies we need here, but pretty cool. Nice scrolls. I think we're just going to stick with the IV because it's uh, certainly a working system, and we managed to get synergies for it, so it's, like, pretty hard to drop right now. doodle 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 We don't have boots, let's do it. Ooh, owl, okay. Owl with confetti enchant? Yikes. Fair. Fifty percent increased trigger damage. Picking up a monastar recovers one stamina. I think I'm gonna take those. Yeah, Owl is definitely a tough boss, depending on enchantments. Even without enchantments, it's a tough one. Do, 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 do. 
Let's go ahead and bomb the warrior stash. It's about the point in the run where I'd love to build up some uh, resource. As far as defense goes. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think rare weapons are going to be good enough. Like, epic or better is uh, the only thing I can probably swap out for here. But I'm not taking Toad Scroll. It's pretty difficult to imagine uh, uh, the situation where I take that. That's how I feel. Let's go for Spirit Wolves here. Go ahead and roll here. Okay, here we go. Each point of mana additionally grants 15% more top end damage to mana draining weapons, 60% top end here from 3200 to 5400. Yeah, Toad Scroll's awesome. It's a great one. Hey, Soulheart, finally. Hey, we got room for Tavern here. Uh, let's go ahead and buy dice. I think I'm going to do a roll here. Keys and bombs, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some booze here. Something I didn't realize about booze buffs uh, previously is that the tipsiness and therefore the buff only falls off one at a time, so you can uh, maintain the buff pretty readily just by having it up, so it would be 40 rooms until the buffs are completely gone now. Oh yeah, let me mark this character on the spreadsheet, sorry. Alright, I'm just gonna bomb here. I'm gonna repair my armor. Gold chest, let's go. Galaxy Armor. Orbitals deal guaranteed lucky hits. Interesting. I'm just going to use the resin here. Epic item sounds cool. Walrusman. Okay, that got my evade. Fair enough. Boom, get roasted. Yeah. 10% magic lucky hit chance, alright. Plus 20 power on an orb is going to be better than 20% primary attack damage. By a lot. We'll check the goodie boy points, though I doubt it. Yeah, Honeycomb's interesting, because we have the uh, bonus damage on more companions, but it's only one more summon. Cursed Magic Stash, huh? Let's go. How many dice we got? 14? Let's roll this. Alright, I'll bomb an Alchemy Stash. Ooh, piece of candy. Let's 
keep opening gold chest every time we see them. So I, I think the best use for keys are one of the best use for keys. We're actually a little bit overpopulated on keys right now. It's fair I took that hit. Ooh, okay. Those are pretty nice. Giant treasure chest, let's go. Love to see it. Bunch of stuff on the ground here. Party hat. Wow, hold on. 20% increased stats granted to you by companions per stack of tipsiness. That is an incredible value for damage. Explosion scroll, that's a nice one too. 100% increase effect of ailments. Amazing. Is nature an ailment? It is. Wow, these are both really good. The mana gloves aren't bad either. Okay, party hat's sick. So we have all of these stat bonuses from the druid stuff. Um, chilling's an ailment, right? Yeah, chilling's an ailment. Uh, bleed is also an ailment, I think. So the big part here is now we're going to be chilling enemies for minus 50% move speed. Really good. I'll use a repair powder here. Let's just keep going for the damage here. Oh, uh, blacksmith. I could have saved the repair powder. Fair. Um, That's okay, though. We'll go here. Hoping to get a tavern to refresh our tipsy stacks, and then also a tavern to maybe get repair powder. XP sounds good here. Check out shop over getting cursed. Eh, no need. Grab the piece of candy here. Charm sounds cool. Oh my god. The damage right there. Yeah, bleed's gotta be an ailment. That's why this uh, bleed damage is getting so spicy. Wow. Wow. This run is lit. Me and my party hat are out of here. Is this a monastar? Okay. Plus one stamina, plus suppression. We're going to take the Monastar charm. Ooh, Petrified Heart. Wow. Go ahead and grab a stamina here. A terrible time to start collecting infusions. Oh, we're a little low on bombs here. Let's do this. I really don't think there's a way I replace this weapon now. That's a little bit late. Uh, yes, maybe there is an epic weapon that could work better, but we have a direct synergy with 
our perks for this weapon. Take that, you stinky grubs. Okay, all primary attacks grant a stack of rage. So it's up to 40% attack speed. I think that's probably pretty good. The first flash charge I've used this run is a little surprising. The trobe. Yeah, okay, we got enough here. Lich Robe's really good, but I basically have to hold on to it to the very end, which I don't want to do. I'd rather have some inventory space here. Okay, let's collect a resin. Okay. That one's actually dead here. He's not totally dead, but mostly. Come on, tavern. Beef. Strength isn't doing much for here, but it's not not nothing. Um, I like blood chests. Let's check it out. I really like when the blood chests the mimic with our current mastery set, giving us double rewards. Plus one heart, huh? Uh, okay. I'll swap here. Probably does, Steak Jones. Yo, external links for 47 months. Much appreciation. Thank you. Oh my god. He's melting! This one. Oh yeah, Archon's pretty sweet. E piano's also awesome. Not gonna use the Archon Scepter, but it's a nice weapon. It's like it's nice for uh you use it and then you swap to your other weapon. Okay. Now check it out. I mean, okay. I'm gonna keep going in on damage here. Actually, it's uh, kind of getting some diminishing returns here. Let's grab, um, let's grab Spirit Eagle. are all fine. I 
Eh, I'm gonna roll here. All right, well, goat force is fine. I do like me some goats. The first page of perks was definitely better there, but uh, a non-issue. Oh, nice. Souls. Red dice here. Yeah, I'll take the cake. Turns out int's pretty good. That would have been a good red dice room, too. I'll bomb the magic stash here. piece of candy. What's our int at right now? 27? That's not super high, but it's not low either. We had some really crazy stat runs yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Monastar here, in fact. Pretty rare pick, but it's going well. We got all those extra souls from that room. Cool. I guess magic weapon. I don't really want to use rolls on that. Lousy. Builds frickin' mean. Legendary, huh? Oh, it's the Zenosword. Very, uh, very cool weapon that we're not gonna use here. Nothing wrong with it, but... I think the scroll's overall just more effective right now. Alright, we went pure good on this one. Let's see what this looks like. The nature scroll is just much, much better right now. Bear. I'm gonna take the bombs. It's likely we bomb chest here. Trigger damage. No, let's go with tributes. Bomb and obsidian chest. We're lucky we get a tavern here and I can refresh my booze buffs. Because the party hat is falling off a bit. Soul heart, noise. Resin for next floor sounds good. Keep them coming.
Go for bombs, I guess. Alright, so no tavern for booze. Doesn't mean we can't get booze later either. So I should probably just look for or do some rolls for the booze rooms to get that bonus back. So we're getting 20% increased stats from our companions, which is really massive on this character specifically. Most characters that's like an okay bonus, but on this character it's uh, spectacular. Still better than they normally do on that. Looking awesome. Okay, this hat could be a replacement, maybe? Your radiant damage inflicts judgment. Alright, maybe not. Judge me. Here we go. You know, a uh, tome could be interesting, depending on what they are. Unlikely it's a benefit, but uh, still good. Uh, nope, those are definite nopes. Random weapon, let's go. Some very resistant enemies there. Might start using dice to fish for booze now. We can get our guaranteed stat ups back. check out trade tomes again. I'm a sucker for this one. Critical hits and flick fatigue. Okay, that is pretty nice. Honestly, uh, teachings and intelligence could be amazing too. Right now we have seven strengths, so that would be uh, 35 25 right now. I could remove remove the boots. Hmm. No booze. Fair enough. Okay, if I was going to replace Opportunistic, what would I replace here? Probably Goat Force or Arcane Familiar. So I'm going to go ahead and bomb this. All 
All right, this build turned out being pretty sweet here. Got a lot of nature synergy. And again, here on Drew, we kept the base weapon. A pretty hard weapon to replace, if we're being honest. All right, final boss time. Boom, get roasted. All right, gonna mark the druid in here with a green pip. That was a fun run. Alright, let's uh, pick a new character off the second tab. I'm thinking... Somebody with evil alignment here. Maybe Ninja or Necromancer. I don't think I've played as Ninja yet. On Dash, summon a Shadow Clone Companion that uses a different weapon and grants a different effect depending on what weapon you're using. All right, then. All right, y'all, our ads are about to play here. Before we start this run, just going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some more water. Encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a minute for a run on Ninja, which I'm going to mark with the uh, orange box right now. All right, be back in just a minute for another run of Tiny Rogues. Lettuce 221. Thanks for that Prime sub. Appreciate that 10 months. Hope you continue to enjoy the emotes, community, and ad free view, and happy to have you. All right, be right back.
All right, we're back and we're clear. Let's go ahead and head into this ninja run here on Cinder 16. Yo, Diplomacy 2015. Thanks for 18 months. Appreciate that year and a half. Thank you. All right, so our starting weapon is Crappy Shuriken. Fair enough. Yo, Sunder CR. Thanks for 43 months, too. Bruising. Okay, so... Interesting. Okay, they dissipate, so you're supposed to be dashing. Maybe not continually, but... Enough. Ooh, okay. That is a really nice find here. It's basically a uh, big improvement on what we currently have. I'm going to take the decks here. the largest fan of this weapon, but it's uh, it's better than the Shuriken was, that's for sure. Tailwind's a little weird because it's like a modular move speed right now. Still nice, though. Blood chest. Wow, that's a disgustingly good find this early, getting plus one luck. Not only lucky hit chance, but... Uh, yeah, not only lucky hit chance, but uh, better better rewards for sure on, over the course of the run for that having existing. What a nasty synergy here, the Oktoberfest enchanted with the totem enchant. That's brutal, man. Pirate frock? Ooh, your flask refreshes tipsiness. Touch <laughs> you get a lot of booze buffs. Steel plate armor plus two armor. Ten percent increased range damage charm. Um, I think I take the steel plate armor and just work into some strength. Maybe. I guess the increased range damage right now would be. Oh, it's it's a melee type fans. Hmm. You know, I'm actually going to take the Pirate Rock here. I don't actually prefer to have the um, dash distance be increased. I, I like the base dash distance. Okay, it's going to be Rock Golem as our boss. We know that because these little lads are here. Still taking the decks over the gold. Already using an epic weapon. Let's just keep the bombs rolling here. How fast are they dying with super health is a very, very nice thing. I'm gonna take this for the level up. Let's go. Fifty percent increased effect of cold ailments. Okay, well, right now, the fans are two-handed, right? 
Two-handed melee weapon. So Titan's Grip makes some sense. I also think that uh, Lightning Conductor seems pretty good too, because we already have a plus one luck. So 20% uh, lucky hit chance is not a small chance to happen. I'm going to go for Lightning Conductor here. I don't think it's the best choice there, but like the permanent infusions I take all the time, so let's get away from that. It's nice. Invincibility after dash is great. Probably does, G-Funk. Because it says slashing damage from you and your companions, so I, the, the Shadow Ninja's got to count as a... Companion. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. Oh, snap. 50% lucky hit chance is it, for sure. We don't have a cold synergy with this right now. We do have lucky hit synergy. Alright, so we're already minus one. Let's just go in here. Increase attack speed. Companion, companion. Companion that gives lucky hit chance. I mean, okay, okay. Let's take the tiger charm. I'm going to use this as well instead of the Canary. Canary's nice, but now we have what for Lucky Hit Chance? It's got to be pretty good. Under Miscellany? Yeah, Lucky Hit Chance 40% leaving Floor 2. Uh, We'll take some beef here. Let's keep the levels coming. That was spicy, dude. What a room. Two keys, all right. Yeah, the, the fans are growing on me here. They do have a very nice uh, AOE effect. Is fans chilling? Is that what's happening? Oh, they do. Okay. Interesting. I think the lucky hit's still better, but it's cool. Yeah, I can't say I have a favorite class. I don't even think I've played all the classes yet. Shaman Mask, okay. Increased nature damage, that's cool. Pawn Shop seems adequate here. Okay, here's Tavern. Okay, let's check it out. So, you will give me a Purging Stone, yeah. What I'm thinking here is we uh, stack up on Booze a bunch, although I can go into Tempest Fan's level 4 here, which seems pretty desirable. Because, like, what I can do is I can buy out uh, all four four of our tipsiness, uh, or three of tipsiness, and I can use my flask to refresh it and then drink more, and then use the nurse and then drink even more to scale our damage way up. But that's only a temporary bonus, and it's pretty early. Uh, doing that later would make more sense. Uh, it's probably going to happen that we 
replace the pirate frock before uh, that becomes relevant. I am very sure that getting these to plus four will have a substantial effect on our damage uh, long term. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, there's an armor drop right there. I'm going to check it out. Ooh, that's a nice accessory. Hard to drop the 15% lucky hit chance, though. We'll think about it. The more I've played, the less uh, less important I feel souls are in general. Like, they're good, you gotta have them to win your run, but... Uh, they're really more for fixing your alignment than anything else, in my opinion. Suppression was very helpful there. Ten percent critical hit chance. Increased status uh, buff status effects. Okay, we'll take the gloves because we're not wearing any gloves right now. You know, I won't turn down a quality meat shake. I won't. You know, magic weapon for uh, pocket magic could be a consideration here. Let's check it out. Arcane Torrent Tome, Chrono Staff. Chrono Staff would be an awesome pocket magic uh, staff. Tipsiness refreshed. Uh, super armor. It's all making sense now. Golden chest seems appropriate at four keys. Whoa! Double reward golden chest, then. Noise. Nice reward. Oh! That's a sweet 50% increased chance of luck taking effect. Ridiculous.
I just realized these enemies that go around the perimeter are, um... The enemies that denote Shambling Mound is the boss. I'll take 25 to 30 gold here. That's a lot of gold. Okay, we also have this Purging Stone, which I need to clear up inventory space anyways. Let's just do that here. Charm sounds cool. Evade charm? Nice. Some really nice goods here. Take the evade charm for sure. Critical hit chance, flask, spider silk. Oh, we'll take the precision charms. We get minus four now. Nice. I'm just going to buy this. I'm not going to use it. Just getting to another alignment so we can take one of the good uh, events on the tavern. equip this right now. Mm. I don't have any armor right now. Let's just take this to sell. Also go for a set item here, because if I can get the uh, Leprechaun helmet, then we're, we're officially a luck build. Which should be real cool. Well, I will take the plus three in. It is crit chance, if nothing else. Shop with 74 seems good. Rock Elysee, let's go. Well, not opposed to dispelling curse either. I do not want minus dex. have any armor or upgrades right now, so Blacksmith kind of seems out. I guess we're going to take the, um... Stone and then take this. 
Come on, leprechaun hat. Come on now. Yikes. Cultist lantern, okay. I need a lot more decks right now. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, Armor of Agathus is decent too. There's some decks. Spellblade's interesting. I think I'm gonna go for a roll here, though. Okay, lightning always strikes twice, doubles our chain lightning. Uh, let's go for a ranged weapon here, for sure. Like, the fans have been nice, but they're gonna fall off. Or, huh, I might just die right here, we'll see. This boss is gnarly. Okay, we got that down, good. Whoop. Really fortunate pattern there. Okay, yeah, Gatling gun. I think Gatling gun will get the job done. The nice thing about Gatling gun is it attacks super fast, and with the super fast attack, we can activate chain lightning more readily. Also basically be triggering the lightning attack at the maximum rate. I'm gonna check it out. Damage feels pretty good with the lightning there. Eh. Your lucky hits intimidate. What does intimidate do? 30% more damage, that's not insignificant at all. I think right now luck taking effect is better though. Let's drop this. Keep, uh, keep an open idea on that. The Sizzler. Eh. I'm just going to take the gold here. Unlikely I replace this. I'd rather just upgrade this weapon. There's uh, some bows in this game that I definitely prefer, but we're being honest, not very many. Let's take these. Looks like Kraken's gonna be our boss, that's fair. Pawn shop, great time for that. 
Okay, Blacksmith 2. I mean, honestly, the plus armor here is also decent. I was thinking the Leprechaun set, if we got it, would be just immensely good. Let's drop off some stuff here. I'm willing to drop the fans now, too. They were nice, but this is nicer. Yeah, we'll get the Gatling gun to plus four here. And I'm going to drop the tuxedo set. Yeah, it might have been better to hold on to that. We'll see. do like blood chest, but uh, dex is the stat we want. I think level up's what we really want here, so I get any more unlucky hit stuff, this build kind of pops off big time. I'll check set item here. I evaded that. We just sold Armor of Thorns. All right, uh, Bassinet, Armor and Suppression sounds very nice. Broccolizzi. That's the one. I'll take a flask refill here. These are red dice on this one. Ooga, or petrified armor. Well, petrified armor is going to be better. Well, I wish I could eat that Borg. I do. Golden chest is it. Puppeteer gloves, probably not. Um, I definitely don't need a Blacksmith. Dexterity, though, need big time. Tavern sounds cool. Yeah, you know, enchanting the Gatling guns probably very smart. 
happy. That's increased lucky hit chance. Amazing. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get a present from Santa. Awesome, whatever. Let's get dice, too. Dice had to be some of the best uh, things you can purchase. I'm gonna go for double beer here. Gunchaku. This is a really uh, kind of funny weapon. This is definitely not bad. Galling gun's better for our purposes. Taste the sizzle. Be the sizzle. That was great. Grants melee damage to cold attacks. Okay. Eh. Guess we'll take these. I'll check out Evil Shop. I'm mostly looking for the Evil Charm here. Debuffs, Defy Death, Poison Damage Ring. Eh. I'm gonna keep my souls. I probably should grab a stat here. What should I grab? Stamina or health? Let's grab another stamina. I'm going to grab the Intelligence just to level up here. One uh, nice feature of the Gatling Gun is it also scales off of all three stats. Not very well, but every stat we get does improve the weapon, which is nice. Let's Trigger Mania. On the tally of 10 damaging triggers, gain 10 stacks of Trigger Mania. Stackable emotion buff that grants 12.5% increased attack speed. Okay, this is actually quite good because uh, we have lightning trigger, and then we have when a lightning effect triggers, it triggers again later. So we're going to be uh, activating trigger maniac very fast. Okay, maybe not very fast, but fast enough that it's uh, reliable. Oh my god, look at the attack speed on this thing. Unreal. Attack speed's better right now.
Trey Tomes is uh, interesting consideration. I'm gonna go for the Treasure Rock. Because, like, you can preemptively pick up a trait tome, and then if you get a bad trait, you can roll into it. I don't have anything to replace right now is the reason I opted otherwise. Okay, charcoal pine resin, sure. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay, we lost our evade there, that's fine. Bomb this. I'm gonna roll here because I don't need a uh, blacksmith. Meat shank time. At worst, it's plus 3% three, uh, 3 damage, but since we have scaling on um, strength here, it's nice. Obsidian is guaranteed to be a um, an equipment where gold is more randomized. Uh, gold almost always drops uh, gold as well. Golden bombs are the main thing out of uh, golden chests, but other drops can't happen. Where uh, obsidian is always equipment. Okay, we're in this one then. Nice. Get roasty. Plus two stamina, that's actually pretty sweet. Red hoodie's not bad either. What's Odin do? Your chain lightning's chain plus two times. I'm doing chain lightning right now. That's actually really good. Do that. I've never seen the Odin set before. But like just the non-set bonus right now is legit. Rock a lazy. All right, I will get curse for plus three decks. I'm in. Can always fix that curse later. Opportunistic is pretty awesome. Because, like, we got pretty decent crit rate, so it's going to be continual on any enemy. So, bonus crit damage and decreased movement speed. I'm hesitating. I kind of want to roll here, look for pocket magic or another on trigger effect. Let's fish for something even better. Your lucky hits are always super effective and grant cheap shot. Whoa, Cheap Shot is a buff that grants 100% increased trigger damage. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, functionally much better. Okay, that, that armor could actually be usable here. Um, epic weapons, I'll check it out. Yeah, they're all kind of crap. The Paper Bomb Kunai is, uh... An effective weapon, but I wouldn't call it great. Crappy Basinto. 
Not better than the Gatling gun for our current synergies, that's for sure. All right, what's this? Wedding dress and devil cloak. Pawn shop here. It's right there. We should take the highest value items. Drop the garnet charm. Take the devil cloak. Okay, let's sell everything off here. It's uh, nothing special. Uh, Boxer Drox is like a little bomb weapon. The debuff's nice, but it's not what we have right now. I think I will equip the Holy Armor uh, when the time comes. I'm going to drop the Trash Chrono Staff, too. I think getting Pocket Magic is kind of out of the question. There's other mods I'd prefer right now. More boots, Stone Mask, Paper Crown. Okay. I'm going to use a Red Dice here. I'm going to use Red Dice again. I'll bomb that. Okay, Gun Chaku, not yet. Oh, I should have sold the gun Chaku as well. Glug, 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 glug. Uh, I'm gonna bomb this. I'm gonna keep bombing chests, hoping for, um... Hoping for soul hearts. I feel like we're kind of at a point with this chain setup where we can uh, crush most rooms and, uh, you know, build up an actual resource of health for the next couple floors. Okay, no. Check it out. Black market? Nah. All right, what's our current tipsiness right now? Three. All right. stone will make me business cost me 20 right, fine to remove the curse I will make sure my morality is still correct yep still pure evil Olga. not really last chance at leprechaun set here Take the leprechaun say your plus three luck uh, is going to put our lucky hit chance 120 percent all right so that means we can replace the uh yeah we can definitely replace here Ooh, thunderbird totem 100 percent increased top end lightning damage okay plus block also amazing all right this is this is insane we no longer need the lucky hit chance. And, you know, I'm going to take this block charm, too. We'll drop the attack speed for the block. It's spicy, boy. Dude, soul hearts are not being a thing on this run. 
It's okay. We don't we don't need a health to win. It just helps. Uh, I should probably start collecting uh, the resins. Do a roll here. Piece of candy. The next level up reward we get, or two level up rewards we get, are probably going to determine a lot more about this build than health or equipment. Critical hit or ruthless hit gain berserk. 20% attack and movement speed. Eh, I still think we can do better here. Okay, opportunistic it is. It's definitely not the best, but it's not bad. some real uh, Palpatine vibes off of this build, man. Black market, cool. There were super illegal gun parts we get to tier 5. Just buy the cake and then sell some stuff off. Okay, I'm seriously debating right now. Um, at our current lucky chance, just equipping the holy armor and the bassinet so that I have the plus armor. Oh yeah, okay. This also gives us a uh, holy damage. Let's give it a try. What's our lucky hit chance now? Still got to be pretty significant. Oh, only 35, huh? Wow. Guess not. Okay, well, having seen that, I'm going to drop this stuff now. Do I have a yellow dice on hand? I hey, I can buy a yellow dice. For how much? Three? Let's go. So we're going to re-roll the entire black market here with these yellows. Okay, no super illegal gun parts. Magic fine, melee damage, plus armor. Mmm, if only I had the souls. Booga! Buy a key, I'm gonna do one more roll. I think yellow dice are best used in this room. Yo, super illegal gun parts, let's go! Plus five. One gold shy. Is there anything I can sell here? We're at 110 percent. This will take us to 95 percent if I sell this. Then we could buy the um, fish and chips. Probably not worth it there. I am in the market for another accessory though. Oh yeah. There we go. Now I can buy both. All right, critical hit, multiplier, close range is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Just bomb this again. Soul hearts would be really nice to have. Any amount of health, Rockalizzi. This runs just really well statted because of the luck bonuses we had. 
Accessory. Wow, this feels slapping. Have a good one, Amadeus. Take it easy. Alright, we're going evil on this one. Gotta be evil, right? Yep. Pure evil, minus seven. That's quite the morality there. Quite the morality you got there. <laughs> really don't need any more lucky hit chance. We're over 100% right now. Still no Solhar, wow. Trigger damage, that's our lightning. Let's go. That's big time, buddy. Uh, a red dice for me. I'm gonna keep bombing chest here. Give me one Solhar game, just one. Singular sensation. There's one. All I do is ask. Three times. Trigger damage. Let's go. Just noticing I lost my evasion. That's tough. Okay then, um, let's do a red dice, set item fine. Very low health where we're at right now. As long as I don't lose my resurrection on this fight, I'll be feeling okay. So it's definitely not out of the question to lose our resurrection here. Oops, all sizzle. Get roasted. The way I describe it in a breeders, you basically just want to stay on the horizontal plane. 
as much as you can and use your dashes to get past the uh, stuff. Also, the since the uh, flames come from top to bottom, it's best to be in the middle or bottom of the map. Definitely still struggle with that one myself sometimes. Uh, not an easy pattern by any means. Okay, I don't need lucky hit chance. Attack speed, fine. Honestly, cursed resin was probably a good a source of damage as well. Not inefficient. I'll bomb that. Yeah, I finally got a soul art. Okay, resin, huge. With how fast we attack, the bonus damage from resin is applied with every single bullet. Lost my evade there. Fair, fair. Uh, I'll check it out. Twilight Branch. We have right now we have Happy, and we're at 110% lucky hit chance. So actually, taking this and replacing the uh, is better. 50% critical hit damage. Beautiful. Um, because we're still at 100% lucky hit chance. So free, free upgrade. One final rest. Alright, it's going to be a tough fight. Uh, for me, the Amon fight is definitely the toughest of the three bosses. But our damage should carry us through. I don't see why not. So far, so good today, bro. It's our second run. Won our first one on Druid. No surprise, Druid's really, really good. Almost uh, one phased him there. Would have been nice. I see what Chatmer was saying the other day about just staying close to him here. Yeah, that makes sense. A little tip on that pattern, if you end up taking the damage, you can just walk through the rest of the maze. That's pretty easy to manage. Be a roasty. GG. Tasty sip sips. Oh man, Oscar and El, so sorry for missing your 31 months of lurking earlier. My apologies. My apologies. Or usual and relate to or miss your notification. Do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case that humanized myself. Unfortunate but true.
All right, who's up next here? Let's just go for like a classic. This, that's, that's Bandit. Let's go for a warrior. Weapons gain 10% more base attack speed per upgrade level. Very uh, high strength start. I'm gonna wait for our ad to be here 30 seconds, then we'll start the warrior run. Thanks for your patience. Go. We start with what here? Slow hand axe. That's us. Hitting pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to turn down dice this early. Let's just get rid of any dud dud picks. Nice. Fire Scimitar, okay. I mean, he's got the crappy modifier, but look at those stats. That's good. Not quite the same range, but should be amazing damage. Take the event here. Plus one heart, okay. Cool. Definitely not bad. Oh, also, burn damage at this point in the game is pretty strong. Ooh, a second secret secret cellar in as many rooms. Interesting. I don't know if I want to enchant the fire scimitar. I don't think so. There's just much better weapons out there. Gloves or accessory? I would say gloves probably have the overall higher power level. Honestly, for a melee weapon, the... Uh... Fire Scimitar is not shabby. Okay, what are these? Damage at close range. Magitek Boots, Demolition Gloves, Cultist Hood. Eh. I guess I'm going to take the Brawler Knuckles. We can't even equip them right now um, due to our equipment load. but It's something. Still don't have a key, but I'm going to take the stat here. Okay, if I had the ability here, I would go in the armory. At least we have the scepter. And fortified bombs will be nice too. It'd be a lot worse. Uh, yeah, let's get a key rock in. This is definitely not going to turn into an int build.
Well, with the second Twilight Branch, I will, in fact, enchant this. Take int. Just looking to get a level up here. Mulking can be a little bit rude. He has this explosion thing, so it's going to be difficult to get damage in. Not impossible, though. Oh, Meteor Enchanted Mole King? Yikes. I think I'm just going to stick with my longer range weapon here. It's going to be a little slower, but... I guess the burn stack is pretty significant. I think underground mole king would hit you. Okay, plus five dex ring. Which one is this? Once per room on spending gold, grant five to ten souls. 20% lucky hit chance. Also quite good. Um, I'm going to take the rabbit paws. I like things that influence combat. I like getting more souls, too, but combat influence is very nice. All right, everybody, before we go any further here, just going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Also, if I don't get up right now, I'm going to get mauled by a medium-sized animal, my cat Daisy do. We'll be back in just a few minutes for uh, some more Tiny Rogues action. Thanks for your patience during this brief intermission. Also going to be grabbing a quick snack here already prepared. Thanks to my lovely wife. Uh, see you in a few minutes for some more Tiny Rogues.
No, righty. Have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Hope you enjoyed the kidder shenanigans. I know I did. Yo, Crab Lord, thanks for 70 months during the break. Really appreciate that. Thank you all for your amazing uh, support and this continued opportunity to be here entertaining you in our 12th year on the site. No place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing. I gotta say, every year I stream has gotten a little bit weirder. We still have this cool place to hang out and enjoy video games. I think that's awesome. Well, I think the uh, rage is it is up to 40% attack speed, and that is definitely good. Whetstone, do we have two of those now? Just one. Feed me. You know, this doesn't look all bad. Um, it does have e-scaling, so it is a, a possible ranged option. Most ranged weapons will not have any kind of uh, strength scaling. Um, well, I don't think it's great. It's an option for when stuff's uh, far away from us. Like this. These enemies are extremely hard to commit on. Let's just go gold chest here. I don't really have enough to validate the pawn shop. Big Chomper A scaling. I mean, maybe. Oh, it is a big chomper. Dang. Uh, I think that's asking a bit much. Not currently wearing a helmet, so sure. Yeah, it's gonna be a really nice boss to have this uh, rage weapon on. They already lost the block. Yikes! Ugh. Tough. Got him. Okay, we didn't actually use a soul heart there, so that's fortunate. Man, 
Panda Mass doubles your lucky hit chance. Okay, well, that's definitely not bad. Okay, also Flintstone Quiver. I'm going to equip this. And while we lose the block, we now have fire damage on the bow, which should be really good. Okay, we want to go neutral on this one. We already went to uh, good and evil today. So let's try to get the third door done. Yeah, Borger time. Let's go. I love Borgus. This is effectively doubling the damage of the... Uh, the bow. Okay, Zephyr seems good. I mean, he's got the god awful modifier right now, but um, Tailwind's really good. Increased movement and attack speed per hit up to four stacks up to twenty percent. Almost certainly better here. We'll see about that though. Also has triple stat scaling, which is nice. Beef. Blood chest sounds cool. Oh, nice. I love it when it's a mimic blood chest, my favorite. Could get some really, really nice equipments off of this. Ooh, okay. Well, since especially since we have a triple stat scaling here, this is amazing. And that's equivalent to plus uh, 12 bonus stats on this run. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Yeah, we'll go for combustion here. We got all burning damage, so definitely nice. And yes, this game does have auto aim settings for controller. Plus luck, let's go. Um, I can't really buy anything at the blacksmith, so. Oh yeah, I walked through that. Thought I had a dash, but I didn't. Nice fair. Okay, don't have boots either. Let's go. Oh, okay, gargoyles are tough. Ooh, danger zone gargoyles too. Yikes. That's a yikes. It's fair. really care which gargoyle dies first because we have the ability to hit from long range here. This is like a true nightmare if you have a melee only build.
all pretty bad. I guess we take the boots for the movement speed, though. Alright, time for a little bit of replenish here. Yikes, man. Well, 25 to 30 gold's a lot, but, uh, Borger? I'm gonna keep taking stats. Uh, I think this bow could actually be our in-game bow if we get enough uh, stats built up. I was asking a lot, but... Oh, a toughie. Uh, I'll take the beef. Adrenaline's also sick. Guess we'll take adrenaline here. Walked into it. Bears fair. That's nice. Okay, Petrified Mana. I don't think I'm going to use Mana, but I'm still going to grab this. There's definitely a chance this gets Ar Arcane Enchanted or something, and then the Mana Star becomes useful. Overall, pretty hard to turn down a potentially permanent resource gain. Rockal easy time. Let's go. This turned into a dex build. It kind of did. Okay. Let's check out this guaranteed range weapon. Hide Piper. Okay. Get roasty. Oh. Kunai Helix Bow DNA Alteration. Uh, okay. I kind of think I'm going to take Razor Wand and look for Cast on Crit with that. I don't think that's going to be an improvement myself. Alright, well... Refills one flask. I think I'm going to try to avoid grabbing uh, the... Last refill right now, which is uh, dubious, but the choice I'm going to make here. No, 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 no.
All right, rare weapons. We'll take a look. What kind of bow is this? Ooh, I like this bow a lot. Well, one, it, it uh, adds cold and it has CBC scaling. So that's uh, definitely better what we're using right now. The tailwind's good, but this is great. As infliction damage is fire damage. So basically we have double burn with this is what it is. Blood altar, huh? Well, blood altar we can bomb. But we have no keys. Yeah, this damage is good. Alright, alright. Kind of turned into a dex build here. Pawn shop, definitely time for pawn shop. Okay, it's also trying to drop a heart here to enter the blacksmith and get a full upgrade on this weapon. Be cool if we could enchant this weapon to remove the uh, low modifier, but uh, getting it to level 4 is more important, I believe. I could also go to level 2 and look for enchant twice inside the tavern. Hmm... I think that's actually a better deal. Okay, enchant ladies here, awesome. Okay, there you go. We got arcane enchantment. So this uh, utilizes that mo permanent monastar we got earlier. Go ahead and buy a present from the old Santa here. Okay, cheese, nice. Bow's actually slapping right now. I'm gonna go for the set item. Could be the fairy helm, which would be awesome. Okay, so really good fight not to be pure melee on. Hot What is this? Plus one to lightning weapon upgrade level. Not that. Okay, well, we'll take the epic. I mean, right now, it's not hurting anything. We could always sell it later if we wanted. Okay, law shop. Here we go. We're going to buy this out to get to three lawful. 60 poison damage. Is that worth dropping a lucky hit chance? I think so. Adding poison damage in. So we have double burn poison, more or less. A uh, fine gold charm. Really not. Those are pretty weak charms, but it's still uh, a benefit. Got to three lawful, so we can either get dice from the tavern or we can find the next law shop to ensure our morality entering the shadow realm. I'm gonna bomb the magic weapon stash. 
Not sure if different types of chests have different loot tables for bombing, though I've gotten soul hearts off of magic chests quite often, so that's why I chose that there. Fully refills hearts and flasks. I'm going to go for that, so it's uh, 10 souls we don't have to spend at the bonfire. It does cost us a room reward, though, which is not nothing. Beef time. Take a vent here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna finish the statue. Look at that charm right there. Periodically inflicts chill to all enemies in the room every four seconds. It's spoopy chilly in here, and I love it. Eh. Let me do one more roll here. Broccolisi, that's the one. Only my second time ever seeing that room. I didn't remember what the drop was. I remember the minigame, though. Alright, let's take the Bratwurst just to level up here. Kind of a dead pick, since we're scaling off all three stats as only XP. Uh, certainly seeing a level up reward is not nothing. Okay, necrotic and poison damage from you and your companions inflicts fragility and a stack of armor break. This is actually a really amazing synergy because we have the snow brand, which does uh, damage over time based on cold damage as fire damage. And we also have the fire quiver. So we have uh, poison, fire, and snow brand all doing damage over time. Uh, granted, the poison damage we're currently making is based off of our uh, accessory ring, so there's a little bit of a downside there. We have to keep the poison ring. Okay, yes. If our boots suck, here we go. Armor break is also just super, super efficient on bosses. It's a very strong effect. Hit. Okay, that's not bad. Burn duration and tick speed. Well then. That is pretty good. These are all right, too. Honestly, I think I want the peg leg movement speed. I'm going to go ahead and top off my flask here. That's fine. Let's 
Spore Flare is actually pretty cool. Eh, I'll take two bombs, fine. We'll access those later. Our container for 33 is a pretty good use of our funds. Soul Heart, okay. Kind of seems unlikely we're going to be able to hold on to the Soul Heart, but maybe. Okay, we have zero gold for the blacksmith here. Fair. Ooh, we found it. Okay, here we go. Each point of dexterity additionally grants 2.5% increased effective ailments, 87.5% currently. Uh, we currently have... Cold is an ailment. Uh, Snowbrand deals infliction damage, so chill is different than that. Poison is definitely infliction an ailment. Yeah, so we got burn, Snowbrand, and poison. As a really powerful modifier for damage over time. It's going to mostly help us on boss fights, but some armor enemies will also be greatly diminished because of our synergies. Yep. Well, damage over time is very spicy right now. Yeah, gloves could be improved. I love armor break for fighting the automatons. It's so nice. I don't think I've seen this ring before. Oh my god. Chill also increases critical hit damage taken by 141%. Well. I like the turban as well. We're not going to break up that synergy set. Okay, let's take this. Our crit chance is a little bit weak for this, but, um, you know, still 14%. And we have a direct chill synergy. Uh, one thing I like about this pickup is it means I don't have to worry about getting another weapon because we now have uh, essentially perfect synergy as far as modifiers go. Pattern's a real one. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm not going to turn down looking at legendary weapons here, all right? Manticore critical hits with this weapon have double critical multiplier. Okay. Ghost rifle is pretty cool. 100% crushing hit chance. Balrog one. I've never seen that one before. I haven't seen bone force either. Let's see how it feels. You know, it's good, but we're losing the chill effect. It's 
It's all pretty good, though. Okay, okay. Let's uh, enchant this. It's gonna be chilling, right? Potent. Wow, 25% increased top end damage with 100% cr uh, crushing hit chance. Let's just put the um, rabbit paws back on. And then we'll swap to this. I want to hold on to these gloves, because if I do end up getting chill on this weapon, it could be amazing. Though, what's going to give chill on the weapon? It had to be a quiver. Probably not going to happen. Eh, we'll hold out anyway. It's not like we're hurting for cash right now. The thing I like most about this bow is the... Wait, how am I getting chill right now? What is providing chill? What's giving me chill on hit? Oh, right. We have chill on the charm, so I don't need it on the weapon. Perfect. So after combat's been going for four seconds, we're getting that. Those are definitely fine. Um, yeah, I'll take pointy end. Puncture is definitely a good effect. Just another debuff our weapon can add. Tavern A. Hey, what's up? Am I cursed right now? Ament? What kind of quiver is this? All damage, close range, stamina charm, pretty good. Okay, we're going neutral here, so it doesn't matter if I take a little evil. Um, I'm gonna re-roll the store here. Each time you do this, the door locks, but it's a pretty good use of keys, and we have extra, so... What's the harm? Yes, yes, I love stats. Charm's actually okay. These are all fine, too. Let's do uh, one more reroll. I'm also going to drop the Snow Angel on the ground now. Reroll it. All right, let's go. Every time I get one of these, it's, uh, you know, increased. I'm gonna do one more reroll then. I feel like spending keys on getting stats is a pretty, uh, pretty good use of our money and stuff. Yeah, Broccolizzi, let's do it. All right, definitely good enough for me. So what do we gain, like, 10 stats there? Nope. We already have 100% crushing hit chance right now. Wow, exit strategy is, uh, interesting. Kind of like that. I'm going to do one more roll, though. Let's go for Spinning Blades. Just another uh, infliction damage we can activate. I think taking off the first page would have been arguably stronger. I don't think this run's going to be hurting for damage. 
Ooh, say later to half your health, dude. He's gone. Law shop. Ooh. 100% duration of Rage and Fury. I don't care about the duration. Armor Charm's great. Full stacks of speed boost every second. So it's 100% movement speed. Yeah, I'll take those. It's like a much better version of our current boots. Okay, still no law shop here. What's our general morality right now? Yeah, no, no. Can I afford all three? Eight, twenty-one, and seven. Twenty-one, seven, twenty-eight. Yeah. You know, I may just buy all three of these to hedge it. It's very likely we get a law store before the final floor. We get the soul shop, but um, I'm going to go for it. Drop this, equip this. It's 40% damage, too. Still gonna try for law, but if we don't get the law door, then we can get the evil door. Trait tomes are also tempting because there are things that would be uh, potentially better than maybe spinning blades, especially. Let's check it out. I don't think we're hurting for damage, so we can uh, concede that stat up. Okay. Grants Harmony if you have dealt at least three kinds of elemental damage in the last four seconds. Uh, does Chill count as elemental damage? I don't think so. No, it's just reduced movement speed ailments. So we got Fire, Poison, and that's it. So we're, we're lacking that third kind of damage. Let's at least take this, this there. What's this guy do? Tick rate of periodical effects? I guess that's good for a burn. We keep taking stats. I love how slow the snail is. Cute. Uh, I don't have a bomb, so I guess we're getting cursed no matter what. Resin's a fine pick here. We can save it for floor 12 and nothing else. Oh, hey, this would activate Harmony. Ooh, more trait tones. Let's go. Sign me up. 150% critical multiplier at close range. Heavy draw. Half your strength also counts towards dexterity. Ooh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's replace... Um, Spinning blades with that. Critical hit multiplier close range is also okay. Time to get this bad boy leveled up. Flops, is that it? What was the other item I just picked up? Ooh. Well, increased fire damage is I. Right. 
Uh, if I had a bomb, epic item would do. Let's choose a red dice here, though. Okay, accessory, no, we can't afford accessory. Boots, I mean, maybe. But probably not. Dude, movement speed's so nice in this game, wow. Periodically trigger flames to rain down from the sky. I think I prefer the movement speed right now. Cold damage by weapons that upgrade level 4 and higher inflict frostbite. Let's just take the legendary, I guess. Two pairs of legendary shoes. And we did not make lawful, so we're going pure evil here. Fair. Highest attribute. I'll check out Trade Tomes. It's a fun little gamble, at least. Nope. Alright, resin's good for next floor. Also, I think it's going to be time to swap for Harmony here shortly. That went evil. Interesting. We'll check out offhand. It's unlikely I replace this, but I can also add fire damage and fusion right now, so we could get to harmony pretty easily. Nice. There's level 4 on this weapon, that'd be sick. Fiery Orbital? Cupid Orb? Uh, let's replace... Let's replace Combustion.
Okay, we're going to use these. This is going to ensure that we have the harmony activated. I want to read the tooltip on Harmony. I know it's good, but I don't remember exactly what it does. 40% more attack speed. All right, so we're at 80% attack speed between that and Rage. That seems decent. Red dice. Let's go ahead and roll here as well. Uh, highest attribute. Resin sounds great. Ooh, interesting. That could allow for a different accessory. Probably won't here, though. Right. We're looking really solid for the boss fight. Sure. More red dice. Ambrosia. We have 47 decks right now, and then half of our strength at 25 gets put in there, so we technically have um, about 60, 60 dexterity for our weapon. Alright, here we go. I had enough damage to get to the, the boss arm regeneration. Nice. I don't think I've ever flawless that boss, so nice. All thanks to the insane synergies we had. Not really so much myself, but cool nonetheless. Alright, so that's Warrior. Yeah, that bow is sick. I think the snow bram would have been a pretty similar effect too, but the uh, legendary bow is just better. Yeah, sure, sure, I can do a snapshot of our uh, mastery stuff. No problem. There's my tree right here. So, uh, key ones here uh, for me is the upgrade to level 4 at the blacksmith. I find to be very nice, because there's level 4 synergies on quite a bit of stuff. 
Um, black market chance in the tavern. Spoiled for choice has been really nice. You get extra uh, reward for one no hitting the boss. Uh, what else we got here? This plus one base movement speed. I could replace that with something else. Okay, the floors 1 to 10 are guaranteed at least one secret room. I think it's really good because most secret rooms have equipment in them. So it's like getting a free chest early on uh, to fish for equipment. Other than that, I don't think there's any really wrong choices in this game for, uh, for stuff. I like this one too. The dice rewards always grant three additional red dice. That's very nice because red dice are very strong. Lock sellers never contain lock things. Secret rooms are highlighted. Also nice. this alignment I could definitely get to the alignment by removing speed and probably compromise loot because lock sellers just are not common you know hot wings I haven't tried that I'm not sure all right let's pick a new character here let's go for Hey, Gunslinger. Unlucky hit, your next attack is guaranteed to repeat. That's pretty easy to lead into. Uh, I have never had a run not reach the four alignment requirement, no. That was a weak drop, but fair. Alright, Halloween Cape. Periodically fears all enemies in the room. Plus 50 minimum damage taken roll is not bad. Well, plus 30% damage might just be better. Let's keep this on for right now. I like XP. Ooh, back-to-back -back Seeker rooms. Love it. Okay. Oh, this is still plus suppression, so it's not not bad. Don't really want to get cursed right now. Yeah, I would if I could. But they're cheap too. So weird start. Double secret room into two dead rooms. Common item or gloves. Let's go for gloves here. Two suppression is actually pretty dope. Currently playing with controller with the auto aim turned on. I've also played with mouse and keyboard. Both control schemes are great. Twenty percent lucky hit chance. Here we go. This is big for this character because um, on lucky hit, is it lucky hits repeat? 
Yeah, lucky hits repeat. I would say, uh, for me, the Highlight Seeker Rooms is very helpful, and if you're streaming, I think is a must, because a fact about streaming for any size of audience, if you make a mistake or miss anything, it'll get pointed out to you, so it's just an easy way not to miss stuff. There is a pretty giant X on the ground, but if you're moving at any steady pace, you'll probably end up missing Seeker Rooms without the Highlight, is my opinion. Maybe if you're an extremely observant person, you can get away without that, but I'm not that. Disc launcher, okay. Magical boomerang. I haven't really seen the disc launcher. What does it do? Alright. That is a freaking cool noise you're making there, bud. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, yeah. All right, bomb's fine. It's gonna take the key. Yes, with the repeat, this could definitely get very spicy very fast. I agree. Loss of suppression already, fair. Kind of in love with this weapon. It's not very strong, but it's fun. Oh, my bad. Wow, Spelunker Vest. I will definitely lose base damage for 50% magic find right now. Alright, Dexterity, let's go. Lucky hit triggers are what I want right now. Okay, well there's a uh, lightning conductor, which is good. One step ahead is also interesting, because repeat attacks had double their critical multiplier. Um, we don't really have the step up for that. I think lightning conductor is a lot more damage right now. This could be good later when we already have crit built up. Until then, though. Okay, we'll check out Uncommon Weapons. Um... Man. Let's just go Pawn Shop here and drop this stuff. Eh, I'm gonna drop the blowgun too. And let's check out shop. But a really weird set of stuff. 
A present for eight? That is a steal. Red dice also amazing. Stamina? No. Do I care about upgrading the disc launcher? You know, I don't yet. I can only grab one, so let's go for the, the rock. We've taken a lot of dead rooms so far, or rooms that aren't giving stats. Spicy room. Ah, uh, lightning resistance, that's why. Ooh. I'm gonna use that up right now. Pair of boots sounds cool. A lot of great boots in this game. feel like we have no incentive for cursed hit chance right now. On lucky hit, gain swiftness is pretty good. That's also pretty good if you the sheriff bell. Let's just sheriff boot it up. Okay, let's try this red dice on these rooms. Okay, does not work. Fair. I'll check goody boy shop. I'm trying to go lawful here unless it's really good. Yeah, those are mediocre city. Rare weapons. What is this? Imp dagger. Okay, Molotov cocktail. Albert's also okay. Yeah, no problem, Hot Wings. Thanks for suggesting that. That was a good, uh, a good thought. Definitely take that. Plus three broccoli. <sighs> Even tavern seems a little not great right now. Guess it's only floor four. go for two to three random consumables here. Even like a Twilight Branch could be really good right now. Yeah, that too. Oh, 
Offhand sounds good. We're using a one hand right now. Even if it ends up being like a quiver, that could still be worth it later. We use some nasty modifiers, dude. Get him, got him good. Ooh. All quite good. Hmm. I am going to go lawful. I'm going to take the ugly Christmas sweater here. Lunker's vest was a little inefficient. Dice, let's go. Keep it dexterous. Alright, we'll take one step ahead, and we'll lean into the repeat synergy. Let's keep the stats coming, let's go. You know what? I'm gonna take the alchemy stash. Oh, sweet, we're gonna get six potions right here. That's amazing. I know one of those is a double, but. Okay, we got a lot of buffs here. Oh, yeah. All right, well, cheese time. Got some. Snap snaparoo. Okay, we got the cheese anyways, nice. Now we have six tipsy, which is definitely good. I guess I'm just gonna upgrade the uh disc launcher here. Right, cursed broccoli. -zy. That's the kind of broccoli I'll eat anyways. Companions sound fine.
Oh, he spawned out of the room there. That's interesting. Is he just... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? That's definitely a glitch. Fair, though. Minimum damage roll increase. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Moonstone. Still no Law Shop. Interesting. We'll see if we get it here. Need to look for a dice guy in taverns. Let's go for a full recover here. Do -do 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 Yeah, that's great. All right. Oh, we can sell off the Spelunker Vest. I think that's where we're stopping here, though. Ghost Javelins. I love Ghost Javelins. Beetle Wand's also cool, but Ghost Javs we're going to equip here. So Ghost Javelins have like a, a homing effect to them, which makes them very strong. Definitely do not need Pawn Shop here. Ghost Shadows definitely don't have the strongest uh, overall attack, but their homing ability and piercing ability make a big difference in the more crowded rooms. Go for the gold. Certainly aren't hurting. Okay, nice. I can get the, well, almost final two here. Only plus one on that. Okay, I'll wait. Yo, Alpha Langstrom, thanks so much for 52 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all for that amazing support and the continued opportunity to be here in our 12th year on the site. Happy to say we're still uh, full-time and no frills after 12 years. Poisoned ghost javelins. Oh my god. It's fair. Plus three luck and plus three curse. It's interesting because it increases our lucky hit chance a bunch, which will increase repeats. I'm going to go for the Kabuto, though, and hopefully we get the blacksmith to upgrade this to level four, and then we'd have plus 20% crit chance on that. Albeit lower lucky hit chance. 
saving for the law shop. I'm not convinced now we're going to be able to get through a door. Seeming a little bit dubious. I've never missed a morality door, though, so... Interesting. Might swap out a few mastery things uh, after this run. See how it goes. Looking for tavern, too, so we can kind of force it. Hundred percent more mana stars. Wow, that's a heck of an item. Gonna bomb this. I'm actually going to go for the golden chest here. What is our lucky hit chance right now? 20%? Hey, use that. Another one? Not quite. Hey, blacksmith. Okay, so now we got level 4. Okay, there's the tavern as well. Uh, I'm going to equip the Kabuto. 20% crit. We did lose some lucky hit chance. A little unfortunate, but also fair. Uh, all right. Going in the black market. We're going to look for a lawful roll here. Okay, Molotov's out. until Dice Guy shows up, more or less. Part of the mastery perks, uh, Boxer Drop. Okay. There's Present Guy. Don't do me like that. Okay, let's see if this is... Sure, it goes plus one good. Listen here, dice guy. There he is. Alright, so now if I get a law shop and I can buy all three, uh, we can achieve our morality goal. Let's do one more here. We can definitely get some stats. Oh, saxophone is uh, really, really nice. Okay, this weapon gains 100% lucky hit chance against enemies affected by an emotion. And we're wearing the ugly Christmas sweater. Periodically intimidates enemies in room for 8 seconds. Intimidate is an emotion buff. So, yeah. This is going to be really good. Because then every attack is going to repeat. Yo, Cracktip, thanks for 35 months. Appreciate you. Mm. Yeah, we got enough trigger with that once the lucky hit thing procs in. So I think what I'll do is I'll use the ghost javelins until the emotion buff kicks in. Yes, we're currently gunslinger, correct.
Yikes, dude. That was rough. Yeah, there's our revive. Uh-oh, spaghettis. I'm not convinced the saxophone was actually that much better than the poison damage. Okay. Revive saved us. What charm is this? Based on how good you are, okay. Okay, here's the law shop. So we need all three of these. You're not guaranteed any weapon types, FX. There is a mastery for that, which is helpful, but, uh... More or less, you're not guaranteed anything. I see the range on the saxophone is the downside. That's why it's feeling less effective, because it kind of is. Okay. Yeah, I like the idea of pain loop. Yeah, saxophone's actually kind of weak in this situation. Surprising. Yes, I do want two soul hearts, thanks. Okay, so this is going to be a Mimic, because the Mimics can't be cursed as far as I know. And if you see two of the same chest, we know one is a Mimic. Due to the mastery we currently have, there's no um, indicator if it's a Mimic or not. Yeah, Vilethorn's pretty good. Also, Snow Angel is quite good, too. If we got Pocket Magic, the other one would be better. Okay, Ghost Javelins are plus four right now. Let's swap this for the... That there. I think I just take the key here myself. What's our stats at right now? 26, 10 int as well. 380 to 522 plus the burn damage. I think Ghost Javelins are better. I'm not even going to bother upgrading the Snow Angel. It's a great weapon, though. We used it last run. Plus three in, so I'll take crit all day. Okay, here we go. More lucky hit, or 20% chance. I think that's fair. Not the biggest synergy build I've had for lucky hits, but it's something. Yeah, Kugel Blitz. Alright, Kugel Blitz, if we got a cast on crit or pocket magic, would be amazing. Uh, boots, yeah.
Oh, Amanita hat, huh? More boots. Companion damage and plus armor. Ooh, wow. Okay. Poison damage against targets that have maximum stacks of poison on them inflict a stack of toxic. Toxic a stack will poison damage over time. It deals 10% of poison infliction damage. It's poison damage two times per second. So basically... This would be great for slaying bosses. It's like a secondary poison we can stack on top. Yeah, not using the saxophone anymore. It just turned out to be uh, too little range, even though the lucky hit effect seemed like it was going to be awesome. I'm going to red dice this. I'm going to red dice this. Blood chest, I'm in. Periodical rate. It's fine. All right. Well, epic weapons. I'm not replacing the ghost poison ghost shafts. There's no way. It's going to be another black market. It is. Orga. I like my little shroomer hat. I'm gonna drop the saxophone. Yeah, I'm gonna hold out hope for the Kugel Blitz. What, turtle armor? Gaia armor. Right. Debuffs, companion capacity. Huh, it's actually a pretty tempting one. I think I will, because with that, it gives us better minimum damage roll. Pawn shop here. Eh. Start collecting resin for floor 12. It's fine. Uh, it's gonna be King Ooze is our boss. Tough one. Definitely take Petrified Armor here. Shop seems fine. 50% increased trigger damage. Eh. Probably looking at offhand here. Oh, Toxic stacks up to 20. That's cool.
All right, not the offhand we were hoping for, but fine. Plus one to dexterity scaling. Nah, lucky hit chance is too important right now. Also nice. Just the Wanderer boots are a uh, slight improvement. Okay, cool. Another law shop appeared. I'm going to take it. Take a look. Ooh, evade charm. I like evade charm. Drop the fiend charm and pick this up. Don't really want to get cursed. I can avoid it. Nice time to have a homing weapon here. Imagine like you're just like a little grub, you're like in your cocoon, you're just like chilling, and then some guy shows up and starts throwing javelins at you in a Christmas sweater. That's messed up, man. Messed up. Not right. Not right. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and take infusion buffs for permanent. It's late for this, but we're already holding on to two infusions, so it's not like super unlikely that we get more. Cheese. Oh yeah, I have none, huh? Okay, well. Guess we're getting cursed then. Yeah, resin on floor 11 and 12 is also very common. That's a very fair point. Um, I don't really need to see a magic weapon. I'm just gonna let this ride. Yo, resin, let's go. Oh, hey, infusion buffs are permanent, so I might as well pop these infusions right now. I'm still waiting to floor 12, but there's no sense in waiting. Unlikely we swap gloves. Charm, maybe.
This is plus flask, yeah. 20% critical hit chance, okay. Armor and suppression. Can't give that up, though. No way. I don't want to give up the sweater, either. 20% critical hit chance is pretty significant, though. I'd say 20% critical hit chance is better than uh, Intimidate. Alright, we're going Lawful now. Alright, y'all, our ads are about to play here. It's going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. We'll be back in just a few minutes for uh, some more Tiny Rogues. Thanks for your patience during this brief intermission. Alright, thanks so much for your patience during that brief intermission. Uh, once again, if you let the ads play to support a lot, appreciate it. If not, totally understand. Once again, uh, here we go. I do try to keep those out of gameplay, but can't uh, promise that'll always happen just because of the way they play. Whoa, got messed up right there. Okay, resin sounds good. That's actually nice. That uh, capitalizes on our mana stars. The only time I've used bombs uh, versus bosses is if they have a really nasty modifier, which makes the automatons hard to kill. You can one-shot the automatons with bombs. Uh, a good use for it. There's also some bomb-specific builds, but they're more or less a resource for bombing chests and opening secret rooms. I think at their best. Man. 
nasty room. Okay, resin we already got. Fair enough. Be cool if we get another type of resin. Check this out. 29 souls, not quite. Mm. No. Trigger damage attribute. Let's just take the attribute. actually a little bit weak for clearing rooms, but it's really good at bosses. I'm gonna take this. Let's go ahead and replenish here. I mean... Can I get an offhand reward here? I can. There's a lot of really nice offhands that would amplify this build. There's also a lot of quivers that would be dead offhands, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, so everything survives pretty well until I actually get the toxic stacks on, and then they have some major problems. Not bad there. Quiver, quiver. Okay, luck charm is actually quite good here. Let's drop the I'm gonna drop the evade charm. Although evade charm is really nice. Luck Charm is more lucky hit chance. Something our build is excelling off of. And we'd have to survive five rooms without getting hit to get that evade back. So at most we're getting one more block off of that. Oh, it teleported me on top of lava. That was a little rude. Rude but fair. Oh, it's phylactery time, guys. Monkey, monkey. Ooh. 
Critical hit multiplier, fine. Nice. Crickle hit multiplier plus 50. Oh, you know what? We can attune the evade uh, charm at the bonfire as an idea. Ooh. I'll take the repair powder, too. No, oh, we're almost there. Fair hit. See if attuning this charm gives the evade back. I'm kind of guessing it might not. Yeah, it did not. Plus four seconds to invincibility could also be pretty nice. We'd have to drop plus 25% minimum damage roll for it. I think I'm going to do that, though. I think this is worth it. For the boss fight, at least, that extra involved time could be pretty major, and also makes our poison and toxic last longer, so that's certainly a positive effect. Crazy long iframes there. GG. Get those tasty num nums. All right, sweet. We're going to lock Gunslinger here. The green pit. Nothing currently, at least, Skelination. You have to get here to continue. All right, Gunslinger uh, got crushed. Let's do a character on the second page now. How about uh, Cyborg? 
gonna mark this as our current run with an orange pip on the spreadsheet. Cool. Yo, Rogue Rhino, thanks so much for six months. And Crixie808, thanks so much for those 100 bits. Appreciate that. A great cheer mode. All right, here we go. Okay, what does Cyborg have? Laser projectile, unarmed attacks. Okay, nano suit. Actually, quite good here. And drone companion. I'll just take the bombs. Okay, interesting. Also, you can do uh, exclaim games or games list uh, in chat to see the games we played. Nothing wrong with asking either. Um, we'll take this. I guess we're even stats, huh? Interesting. No keys for the seller currently. Fair. Just keep the stats rolling here. I certainly don't mind going into like a um, magic style weapon. The truth is, this cyborg has a very strong start. Should probably chug my flask here. And yeah, I'll probably be checking out more uh, Bellatro on uh, the 20th. I had a mysterious blue screen last time I played Bellatro, so hoping that's resolved. Pretty sure it was game related. Could have just been Windows stuff too, who knows. Yeah, chair filler. It wasn't a concerning blue screen, it was just a mysterious blue screen. It happens. Just technology things. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, chair filler. That was the air I, re I looked at the event viewer, and that's what it said, that it couldn't... Um couldn't connect to the Windows servers and it caused some sort of uh, critical error. Thanks for uh, thanks for saying that. Makes me feel better about that blue screen. It was a strange one. Okay. Primary attack deals energy damage. We do have bonus energy damage on the uh, the helmet right now, so that's good. Slashing damage. Cold damage. Let's go for the uh, laser gun. Plus one. Uh, I want to see how this performs before I decide to upgrade it. 
Yeah, I never stressed the blue screen stuff too much. Even if my computer completely bricked, like today, I have a, a direct backup that I could just plug and play, so... Uh, it's not like it would stop me from streaming. Well, certainly mysterious technical difficulties can be frustrating at times. Just part of working with technology in my mind. Unstoppable. Alright, not very effective multiplier, not a very good effect. Also, it's much simpler these days, so I have like an audio chain, so uh, if I do have to swap out PCs, I don't have to mess my audio stuff at all, which is fantastic. Hmm. Gain between 5% and 35% critical hit chance with weapon attacks, depending on the dexterity scaling of your equipped weapon. I mean, right now that's 15% crit. I'd say Rage is better, though, because it's up to 40% attack speed right now. We'll check uh, set. Should again use my flask here. Oh, wow. That damage was sick. Yeah, Rage was the right choice. Okay, what I like about Laser Gun is the infinite range on it. It's definitely a nice effect. Right, let's check a lug here. Hmm. Man, mercenary arm is pretty sweet. Eh, boots are all right too. Yep, crosses revive. That's right. I think if you get the if we get the Magus amulet here too, 100% magic find is so good. I think I'm just gonna take this. The effects are rather comparable. Let's go magic find range damage here. There's also a blue circle, which is called Death Defy, which works very similar to uh, Revive. The difference is that many of the... Defy death effects don't work on Revive. Like, there's special things that work on those. I don't think I said that very well, but there's several things that can proc off of Death Defy that won't proc off of... Uh, Revive as well. Alright, this damage is getting concerning here. Was the energy cap really that much damage? Oh, they're just super armor and guardian enchanted? That's nasty. I get it now. You're just the son of a guns. Super armor plus guardian enchant has to be one of the tankiest setups possible. I'll check it out. On hit triggers chain lightning. I mean, okay. Santa coat. Eh. All right, this shuriken is much better than the laser gun. Pawn shop. Is it pawn shop time? Pawn shop or re-roll. We don't have any red dice, so let's go. I kind of want to keep the Holy Bolt wand just in case we get cast on crit.
14 gold only. I'm gonna drop the laser gun here. Eh, okay, let's check it out. Okay, so our weapon's not gonna be good enough for him. Not quite enough there either. Hmm. What's our upgrade level? Plus one. We'll go blacksmith just because I can replenish here. Also, do I want to fill this up? Let's do it. No. Plus two will be 15, so actually this is okay. We're going to fill the flask with the nurse instead of the bonfire. Upgrade one here. Get our armor back. And we're off. I'd say for uncommon weapons, the electric shuriken has to be up there as far as power level. Pretty good. Ooh, nice. Okay, the laser knuckles are only unarmed attacks. I don't think so, Counts Adolfo, so it does seem that very commonly after Blacksmith, the Pawn Shop can show up. Well, it's not guaranteed, I don't think, that I'm aware of. Ooh. Do these lightning resist? Are you still alive, sir? Oh my god. Mercy, mercy! Uh, it was the proximity enchant that was bungling me there. Fair. Please kill this troll, thanks. Losing revive there is tough. Brutal. Interesting. Okay, increase primary attack damage per soul you have. A lot. Plus one to lightning weapon upgrade, though. We are using a lightning weapon right now. Alright, staying alive. I guess souls. with our stats right now. I see. We're using a dex weapon and dex is our lowest stat, so uh, at least it does also scale off of int. But I think we're looking to swap to a magic weapon here for sure.
All right. Minus int's a little tough, but... Or minus dex, rather. Gold chest is it. Piece of candy. Definitely want magic weapon here now. Photon beam every 2.5 seconds, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and take Ancestral Aid here. Just for the bonus damagers right now. Hey there, Korean Knife. What's good, man? I'm gonna chug a lug here, refill a armor with my flask, which is part of my armor. Okay, Cultist Lantern. Plus one Mana Charm, Bear Pelt Cake. Let's take the Mana Charm. Are we going evil here? We are. Devil boots. Oh, devil boots are nice. Block charm. Colonel Sander, thanks for 116 months. Really appreciate that. They're currently playing as a cyborg. I might, I'm going to bomb this too. Oh, fair. Alright, magic weapon. Let's just check the rare weapons here. Oh, snap, I did that to myself. Okay, so you have to have a soul heart in order to use the doors and not die. Fair enough. Let me mark cyborg on the, uh... I marked the wrong one, one sec. Not the first nor the last time I'll do that.
There we go. Two keys, too good to pass up as our first room. Walked into that one. Um, I don't really want to get cursed. All right, we'll take the end here. Now that we have a soul heart, that's fine. You can also choose to use your revive that way if you want. Huh. Pretty fast. Definitely not bad for this particular boss who's stationary. Damage is still lacking compared to the uh, energy damage bonuses, though. You know, I think I'm going to take Blue Hoodie here. Try to sneak out a few extra int upgrades on these early bosses. Alright, we're an int build. It's official. Yo, DC100, thanks for 121 months in a row as well. 10 plus years. Thank you. Honestly, triple drone could be pretty cool. Scope augment as well, but we're very heavy into int right now. I'm going to check this out. Let's go for raise morale. It's a little bit win more, but that's what we're doing. Good time to get it, because we can probably get the stacks built up appropriately. Okay. Shock Wand. Vorpal Blade. Yeah, Vorpal Blade's pretty good. I think we're going to go for that. That's our stat right now. Okay, we're not super int at the moment. Definitely uh, reasonable. Now that uh, crit based on scaling would have been amazing. Clown mask, okay. Borga. Two keys also tempting, but double stat is double stat. I'll take Infusion right now. Uh, magic weapon accessory. We don't even have an accessory, so I should probably go for that. Uh, never mind.
Probably Kitsuna. Is this Toad? No, Ivy Scroll. Ivy Scroll is also great. We already won a run with Ivy Scroll today, though, so let's pass on that. Uh, this will sell best. Definitely cake. I think this blade is more than adequate. I think epic weapon are better. It maybe be an improvement, but not very many common or uncommon weapons that are going to be slamming here. Oh yeah, let's go. We got cursed by the golden monkey, but it removed the uh, uh, golden cross pendant. Oh, this goes once per room. Holy crap, that's pretty amazing. It's not a bad pawn shop. Probably should. Yeah, cheers, Destrina. Glad you've been enjoying it. It's a very cool game indeed. I'm going to hold on to the nano suit. I don't think it's unlikely we swap back into it. Oh yeah, meat shank time. I'm going to bomb the shrine for 2 XP as well. Lightning Nova. Okay, we're going Rage here. Rage is a really great synergy with this weapon because crits double the attack speed and then Rage gives up to 40% attack speed. So now we can get a uh, doubling of the Rage, more or less. Oh, lucky hits. Check out Charm here. Essentially, once you get a crit, it's a self-propagating uh, attack speed condition. That's how I look at it. Got another int upgrade from the blue hoodie here. It's three in a row. Magic find. What are these? Clown shoes. I have the clown hat, right? Okay. Uh, I think the clown actually works good here. Increase effect of taunt. Yeah, let's go. It's clown time. Okay, we're plus one, so let's go for the goodie boy shop. Intelligence, range damage, red scarf. Uh, I really don't think I need to buy either of these, and I won't. That's right, just clowning around. That's us. Just having a goof.
Dex is our worst stat right now. Fair enough. Blade's still working, though. Okay. Epic weapons I will check out. Imp Dagger. Frost Bane. Sounds pretty cool. What does Frostbite right away? Soul Thief Dagger. Zweihanda. Boy, I like Zweihander, but it, it fails on the stats here. This, however, is on our two main stats. Let's try Frostbane real quick. Oh, it's one of these. All right, never mind then. Eh, not all that weird, Colonel Sander, but definitely Something. Okay, here we go. Scope augment. 25% extra crit chance when we get double attack speed on crit is pretty awesome. Well, I'm just going to keep taking stats here. I think after this boss, I'm going to put the nano armor back on. Might be worth opening the Dragon Slayer stash. Yeah. Good, but on the wrong stats here. It's gonna be a tough fight. Be really good if I could kill the uh, one, this Halberd Gargo first, too. That'd be huge. Okay, good. Like, this Gargoyle's tough, but at least there's gaps where the other one does, like, a bunch of charging, which is really tough to deal with. I think it's time to put the nano armor back on. Alright, what's this? Increased damage per gold you have up to 50%. Dash length, it's poison. Let's take the money back. That sounds awesome. Little Pagleys. Eh. Two keys, huh? I'm in. Check it out. It's like we lose a heart either way. Hell yeah, blood chest. Hell yeah. Freaking love when the blood chest is a mimic. Means we get two looks at really good items here. Or a bunch of this stuff. 
That's also acceptable, just a free level up. I mean, I guess we take Photon Blaster Augment. Blast Cannon actually kind of works as well. Like, we'd have to unequip something, but the gloves can go. Let's just go for the Photon Blaster Augment. It's the only character that can use it, so that's something. Or the only character that perk will appear on, rather. not tavern then red dice is also pretty good here artisan is also a nice weapon I don't, I don't think better than this uh supersonic sword we got Ooh. thunderstorm scroll huh Let's just go for the bombs here. Like, I feel like our weapon isn't the best, but it's definitely competent. Go for gloves here. Our current gloves are dead dead weapon. Ooh, beetle armor. Fucking love beetle armor, man. Is it not attuned right now? Okay, we'll put that on at the start of the next floor just to keep our armor up. I guess it's the same actually. No, not the same. Right, Pied Piper. Okay, 20% lucky hit chance. Sounds cool. 100% increased duration of rage. Greens increased movement speed. We get 40% movement speed off of this and increased rage duration. Uh, I think the increased rage duration is a little bit uh, weak here because we attack so fast once the supersonic starts and then so we're, we're getting full stacks of rage very fast. Uh, I think just getting a 20% uh, lucky hit chance here is gonna be fine for me. Guess we'll keep it beefy. Yeah, they basically uh, regenerate health now. Smug sub, but they don't respawn in between the phases. That's how it works. Trait Tomes could actually be interesting. I could lose Ray's morale right now. What 
let's see what we get. There's a lot of powerful traits in this game, and I wouldn't say we have duds right now, but we have some that could be improved. Plus 10 power per actor in the room. We do have the beetle armor, which amplifies that. While well, you've dealt exactly one elemental type of damage in the past four seconds, gain 100% increase effect of duration of ailments you inflict. Let's go ahead and take the teachings and strength here. I think I'm going to drop the raise morale. Well, maybe not. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to it for a second. Ooh, epic weapons. You want? Yeah, railgun is uh, pretty good. Colossus Machete Ice Fang. Look at the scalings on this thing. Okay, I think Trash Ice Fang is the weapon we want. It is slow right now, but once we get that modifier off, should be pretty strong. Okay, nano armor is out because beetle armor is uh, basically an improvement on that. Okay. The best part about Ice Fang is the long range on it. I'm appreciative. I don't think this thing's going to be a boss slayer, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep my money right now because we get a bonus damage off of that. Also, once we get any enchantment on the Ice Fang, we're going to get plus one scaling on three times. Hell yeah. Um, that's tough. You know, I believe in the Ice Fang being our in-game weapon. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. Tink, tink, tink. Check out Charm here. Maybe using the sword on this boss. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna start with the Ice Fang to see what the damage feels like. Yeah, it's okay. I guess it's all just okay. Oh, they're Guardian Enchanted, that's why. In that case, our damage is actually pretty damn good with the bow. Oh, yeah. Frostbite is a major status effect. That sounds like a great build, APC. I agree. Ooh, that's rocket gloves. Wow, uh, okay, um... Rocket Gloves with the Supersonic Sword is like... I think a little bit too good to pass up. May even, may even swap out here. Gonna be shreddy. Yes, yes. Check it out. Now we have our morality sword. I'm going to grab a stamina. Like the amount of rockets we're able to generate with this is... I think outweighing the range deficit. 
we're basically getting 80 percent attack speed okay, let's try a room or two with this too They're both just kind of acceptable, but it feels like the um, sword's a little bit faster to reaching critical mass. Yep. The very nice thing about the uh, trigger damage on the uh, rockets is that it scales with our level, so as we level up, it just gets more and more damage. Nice scaling option. Ooh. I mean, okay. That's also quite good. Let's see if we can get this bow enchanted. Arcane enchant wouldn't be a bad one. Black market time. What do we got to sell? Rabbit gloves. Do you care about this? No value to you. Okay. Is the legendary sandals? No. Is the Hercules boots? Okay, I just lost a morality here. I need to keep that in mind. Let's do the green blossom to fix that. There we go. Let's re-roll here. This doesn't have an enchantment either. Okay, let's commit to this sword. What do we get? Poisoned. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and take dice here as well. This is a better than average uh, resin. I'm gonna apply it now. Uh, red dice it. Hmm, fine. Things like the ice uh, bow has great use in a fight like this. Where we can't really stay up close effectively. going down. We do get really nice bonus damage off of our piggy bank for having gold, so I think I'm going to take the 25 to 30 gold here. Though dex and another level up reward seems pretty awesome. Take another one. Ha, <laughs> fair hit, fair hit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take Titan Grip for this sword so we can actually have an offhand, like a shield or something. Let's just take the booze buffs. We don't have any right now. They're not permanent, but they're semi permanent. Scary room, man. The whiskey's a good one. Uh, 
shop. Let's not. Let's... Probably should have not gone here. I don't want to actually open that. I'm not really going to use a melee weapon. Ooh, repair powder. Well timed. Okay, let's get this bad boy leveled up. Warple Blade plus four. Guaranteed Legendary? Let's go. Hey there, Varel. What's good? This might be a good fight to use the, uh, the Ice Bow in. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna Ice Bow here. This guy has a lot of range. <laughs> I did hang in there, that's fair. That's fair. They only lost armor, though. Oh, nice. Self-repairs armor upon completing an encounter room. So this is only the the armor on the Aegis, but it is a self-replenishing source of health, and it allows us to take advantage of the Titan's Grip mod we just took. That hit me? Okay, fair enough. Fire enough. Just a clown suit full of rockets coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Little fella coming through. I'm just going to take the bombs. I really don't feel as if we're ever going to swap out the weapons here. There are better weapons, but the odds of us seeing them in the armory, quite low. I'm going to take the booze buffs. Pawn shop's adequate. Let's get our damage boost back from the money bag. All right, let's red dice. That's fine. There's no curses with our current amulet. They get negated. Just repair. Okay, one of these is a mimic. It was this one. Nice. Lux hat, a flare mantle. Okay. Yo, Kraja Bull. Thanks so much for 103 months. Glad you could make it to the live show today, dude. Appreciate that. Fair hit. Last bomb. A mono.
I'll show you the red dice here. Mm. Old chest. Level up's tempting. There will be the last level up, though. We're going to find it. This could be the bombs we need. Or not. Cheese. Okay. Yo, before I do this boss, let's do our lurker roll call for a day. If you're lurking in the channel, I mean you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter. You have the capability to, and you want to. Now you're trying to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for uh, making this stream possible with your support and your time. Nowhere does lurkers like this stream. you yeah, all excellent. Hey, there's Sirius Gonza, Medicine Man, Gisberg, Esquire, Sub Dukowski, Nate D313, Tapped. 2211 three ply hey there mafia boxer rock jpack matthew silver's brother husband hey there fat jeff what's up haroon shinigami sure step on the box hey there mancer cannon fodder electric benjamin raquan chopper what's up zinc crimson asdf kamian hey there niacerat sericium and all the other cool lurkers appreciate y'all you doing it Get to blasting. Is that Vade Charm? Ooh. Okay, that's nice. We'd lose our clown set. I don't think we can lose the clown set right now. Uh, we could lose this for luck, though. Yeah, let's take the luck charm, I guess. Or accessory, rather. Cash in some goodie boy points, perhaps. Oh my god. 100% crushing hit chance with two-handed weapons. That means we do top damage rolls. It's going to about double the damage of this. Uh, not to mention what that does for crits. That's the one. Buy this two. That's a really good one. Doubles your power. Okay. Let's go for a doubling of power, and then we have this uh, teachings and strength for plus 40 more. What do I drop for that? I think we drop the Photon Blaster Augments. Okay. Where is Power Show? It's probably on the Miscellaneous tab. General? Offense, maybe. Power. Total 200 power. That's the most power I've ever had, for sure. By a long shot, even. Rock at least. Oh, we're not even full stacks of uh, Braze Morale yet. Let me see. One of these is a Mimic. Dance bananas. What's this? Kazoo and Mailbreaker. Okay.
This build's pretty lit now. Lost my block there. Fair. Hard to imagine better than poison. Let's go ahead and uh, enchant the bow, though. Unstoppable. That one's I. Petrified armor. If I had a bomb, I would. Probably not too late to start uh, collecting resins for the final floor. Or not too early, rather. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I guess rare item. Boom, get roasted. Okay. Okay, we went good on this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep, pure good. Attack speed, sure. I mean, I'm gonna take the curse resin here. I think getting the infusion buff for the final floor is uh, definitely more potent than curse at the moment. Yep, that also increases poison damage because uh, that nature effect, nettles, it's called. Spicy boy. He will pick up Zenith here. Maybe. Grandmaster Shuriken, also an awesome weapon. Just based on the numbers we're seeing here, Brock, it was probably 18,000 crit. Uh, charm it is. 
be a tough fight. I need to dash there. I see. This is the phase where they have the boss uh, armor healing. I get it now. Oh, snap. Never seen that attack pattern before with the dashes. Okay. Very interesting. Oh my god. My revive's gone on that. Yikes. Got right messed up on that one. Okay, Evade Charm's looking pretty good. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the Evade Charm, and then I'm going to not equip it until uh, the final bit where it gets attuned. So we can have that for the boss fight. We'll use our flasks for the regular rooms. Well, uh, I think we grab a heart here. Infusions. Let's go ahead and grab a potion here, too. I see. Once we lost the uh, stacks of raised morale, our damage fell off quite a bit. Because we lost the doubling of that power. Uh, we're currently playing as Cyborg. Nice. Resin we didn't have. Trying to account for the loss and damage, and that was definitely it. Let's go. Yeah, poison resin. All right, so now I'm going to equip the evade charm and then I'm going to attune. Cool. Here we go.
fair. G G Yo Imtal, thanks for five months of lurking. Doing awesome, thank you. Alright, another run in the books. I'm gonna go ahead and mark off the cyborg here with a green pip. How many characters do we have remaining here? Uh, four, seven, and 11 characters of the 34 laps. We're about two thirds of the way through uh, this set. Feels good. Pretty sweet. That's going to do it for our stream today, though. Thank you all for the great time. Wonderful company. Awesome conversation. Appreciate you all very much. Great time playing Tiny Rogues today. Uh, great uh, streams overall this week, too. Uh, we'll be probably be back at it on Friday. Uh, Thursday is my most likely day off. While there can be a stream, you can Discord for uh, updates, though. I'd say most Thursdays I'm probably off. Uh, thanks for the great time once again. Appreciate you all very much. Until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for today. Crag out. Take it easy.